Hey guys, so hold on to your hats. This is gonna be kind of a long video. This is gonna be a vendor scent pick. Well, actually I have three boxes of front porch here. And so what I've been doing is, I feel like I'm kind of a broken record. I've been picking vendor picks, just one vendor, but I'm actually, I can't just pick one vendor. So I've been picking like three. One like paraffin based wax, one um, like the last one was Scentsy and then also a more softer wax which is like front porch so I'm gonna try to do that so I'm gonna cycle through so that way I have kind of a variety I have a really hard time sticking to just one vendor I just can't I can't so especially with like super tarts super tarts is a mostly paraffin so I, I have a lot of Scentsy warmers around so I kind of need to have a softer wax to throw in warmers as well. Now I have been testing some super tarts in some of my Scentsy warmers and I'm having some pretty good luck. Uh, I'm gonna keep working with it and see how it goes and report back on that. Cause I mean, it would be awesome if I could, you know, that's that would not be my first choice, but if I wanted to throw something, uh, super tarts in a Scentsy warmer, then that would be awesome. Okay, so this may be a really long video. I'm just gonna, pull out what I have. I don't really know, to be honest, how I acquired so much front porch. I honestly really don't. I think I just get in those like little ordering phases where, you know, she restocks every day and she puts her sunless. I don't even look at her emails or check the group anymore because I have so much at this point that, you know, I really don't need to be looking over. So I'm just going to pull things out of my boxes here. Like I said, I have three, so this could be a long video. So I have Cactus and sea salt in a four pack grubby tarts. I think that's what she calls them, grubby tarts. I'm really interested. I feel like some of these are a bit older and I'm smelling this right now. And I'm not really getting that strong of a cactus and sea salt, which is kind of scaring me right now because this is my very first one that I'm picking up. So what I'm gonna do wanted to put something in front of the camera before I started. Okay, so next I have blackberry jam shortcake and sugar cookie orange chiffon cake. These are, now I have not been on her website in a while, but I believe she started doing two-toned grubby tarts. Okay, and that one's stronger, so that's better. It smells just like it says, really. I mean, I think the, obviously the black is the blackberry jam component and the orange is the orange chiffon so okay next I have banana fruity loops I got into fruity loops there for a little bit that one smells mostly of fruity loops I'm not really getting the banana so I will report back on that okay let me just kind of I won't smell everyone oh I guess I got two of those or the other one let's see what was the other one this is blackberry butter jam shortcake. Oh, for some reason I got two. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess I thought I'd really like that one. I guess I like black, I was into blackberry jam butter cookies and I still am. Uh, so the next one I have is orange chiffon, pink chiffon, cotton candy fluff. This is just one tone. I thought maybe it might be two. Lemon marshmallow. This is probably one of my favorite scents from her. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that one smells really, really good. I feel like I got, no, I thought I got two of those. Maybe I do somewhere in the. Okay, next one, Banana Cream Ultimate Bakery. It's a four pack. Okay, that one's not bad. That one has more of a banana scent with a bakery, so that's good. I don't like just plain banana on its own. Let's see, uh, lavender marshmallow cotton candy. And then we have banana nut muffins, banana cream pie, and banana pudding fluff. This is sort of helping me when I smell them. Oh, I do like that lavender marshmallow. That's nice. I do like that. Okay. And then the banana, banana one. That 
that one's good. It kind of reminds me of um, Hufflepuff from Supercarts. That one does because of the banana. Next we have Calm C, and I have no idea what Calm C might have in it, but you can kind of guess that it's probably going to be in Ocean Scent. That one's good. Okay. Strawberry Lemon Bliss Bread. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. She's actually got a nice strawberry. I have gotten some uh, blends from her. I don't know if she's changed her blueberry yet or not, but her blueberry scent to me is not one of my favorites. And I, I don't think I have any blueberry in any of these boxes. Now this warm vanilla brown sugar fig laundry, you would think would smell kind of sweet, but it's actually kind of a cleaning scent. Um, there's a vendor that makes a scent very similar to this. And when I bought it, I thought it was gonna be like a bakery scent. It's actually more of like a clean scent, so. Okay, so we, I'm gonna try to move a little faster here. Free Loops, pretty self-explanatory. Cotton Candle Mallow Fruity Loops. Again, I was on this Fruity Loop kick. Pink Chiffon, Pink Sugar Bread. I think I got this one. I don't like Pink Chiffon, but I do like Pink Sugar and Bread. That one's actually really good. I'm not getting too much of the pink chiffon or not what, whatever component of pink chiffon I don't like. I don't really smell it in there, so that's good. We have apple banana cream. We've got pink sugar cookie Noel. Vanilla Laundry. I really like her laundry scents. I don't know. Maybe I'm in the minority on that, but I just, I don't know why. I just, yeah, that's good for cleaning. Love that one. Um, we have Fresh Baked Bread. I love bread scents, any kind. I don't know. I'm going to have to warm that one. That one smells a little weird on cold. Okay, um, it's Bedtime Kids, which I think is a really nice, I believe it's kind of like a lush dupe. What is this? Hold on, let me whiff. Yeah, this is, um, oh. Oh, crap. Honey, I wash the kids. <laughs> That's what it is. I'm pretty sure it's Honey, I wash the kids. That's what I smell when I open that one. I have two tarts and baby buttermilk. And if I remember, I really liked this scent. I mean, not loved, loved it, but I, I enjoyed warming it. She also has these triple layered macaroons, or macarons, whatever. Raspberry preserves, blackberry jam, butter cookies, creme, br creme brulee dessert. And this one wasn't bad. I was afraid, you know, I'm scared sometimes to get some of her blends with fruit just because of the blueberry incident that I had. Um, but, okay, and she's also making paraffin. Well, it's been a while I, since I've ordered, so she's been making paraffin for a while. But these are pure paraffin, and I got two butterflies and zucchini noel. Let's move that all back. Uh, we have just plain old blackberry jam butter cookies. Orange chiffon warm vanilla sugar paraffin. have a single which is basil sage mint laundry and then another single in orange chiffon warm vanilla sugar so that is one box I'm going to probably just go through oh actually the third box is not that big so um, I have a lot of singles which I know the singles are really old so I'm just gonna go through those really fast um, blackberry jam zucchini bread, which is in a butterfly paraffin. Uh, actually, I have two of those. I try to get two when I order the singles because I don't like having just one. This is a two-pack butterfly paraffin in banana Amish friendship bread. 
Let's see, I have Marshmallow Bread Noel. I really like this scent, I already know that. Clover and Aloe, that's another good scent. Singles. I have, oh, I got another Marshmallow Bread Noel. I will melt those together in separate warmers. Um, pumpkin, buttercream, pastry, and eggnog. I think I got an eggnog sampler at some point. Pink Chill, I forget what this is. Oh, this is some sort of peppermint blend. There's definitely peppermint in there. Okay, that's the chill part. <laughs> I just didn't put two and two together. Vanilla Noel. Another clover and aloe. Okay, I'm gonna get into some of these bigger things. I can't remember what she calls these. I don't know if you can see that. They're like these chunky, what do you call these? Maybe cupcakes, chunky tarts, I don't know. But we have Snuggling Under the Stars and Pink Sugar. I've never smelled or I don't remember what Snuggling Under the Stars is. And I can't really tell either. I'm not getting a really strong, I don't get a really strong scent out of this. So I don't know, but they're just these little chunks that she does. Okay, um, so we have some triple layered macaroons and vanilla butter fudge, vanilla nutmeg and vanilla Noel. Baby's Buttermilk, It's Bedtime Kids, and Buttercream. That should be a really good blend. Christmas Cookies, Eggnog, Eggnog Peppermint, Eggnog Noel. Let's see, Gingerbread Cheesecake. Some of these I got around Christmas time. Uh, so Much Laundry. Citrus Laundry, Pink Mallow Laundry. Obviously, you can tell I really like her laundry. Yeah, that one's strong on the citrus note. I can really smell that. Let's see how it performs. Okay, so now some more four packs. Pink Sugar Lavender Laundry, again with the laundry. <laughs> Lavender Lime Marshall. Now, I do not like lime in wax. I just don't. So let me have a little whiff of this and see how bad the lime is. Okay, fortunately the lavender is a lot stronger and her marshmallow is pretty good. So, okay, cool basil and citrus. I haven't smelled that in a long time. So we have lime cookies. I don't know what I was thinking. This is before I figured out that I did not like lime. Let me smell this really quick. This one's not too bad. Yeah, that one's not too bad. I'm probably not gonna love it, but. Mac Apple Noel. Red Grapefruit Laundry. I have worn this one before and I do really like it. Again, with the laundry. Cake Shop Cupcakes. Clover and Aloe. Citrus Laundry again, <laughs> another laundry scent. Bay's Sagel Mint Noel. And again, Vanilla Laundry and So Much Laundry. Let me smell this one, because the other chunky tart I wasn't getting a lot of scent out of. This one smells okay. And I'm not gonna go through all of these because I have a lot of singles in here. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but they're in this bin here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to probably use most of these little singles in my daughter's room because her room is really easy to uh, get a good throw from because it's small and it's kind of, I think I got a uh, laundry sampler because I have like icy laundry in there um, and then an eggnog sampler because there's a strawberries and cream eggnog. I might save those like Christmas time. There's no way I'm going to get through all this anyway. So um, I just have a small third box. So I'm going to shut this off and put this all away and start over. So I'll be right back. 
I'm back and I just want to touch really quick on her scoopables. So I don't, I'm not going to pull it out, but I don't know if you can see, this is a jar, like a mason jar in here. And this is the scent Clover and Aloe. It's a bit harder wax, I believe. And it's not as messy for me. I was having some issues with her softer wax. You can see I've used some of this. This is Linen Extreme. I get this really strange undertone in her scoopables. Now, she has some older ones and then she reformulated and did some newer ones. So I'm gonna test them and then maybe email her and see if she's maybe changed the formula again because I was smelling the ones that I thought that were the newer ones and they still kind of had that undertone. Plus they were super messy. Like I had one that had just kind of like exploded. Well, actually, I think it got shipped to me that way. It was exploded. I think if you go back to one of my front porch hauls, you can see that. Okay, so I'm gonna move these back. And I just have a couple more here. I have a bag in Sugar Cookie Marshmallow Zucchini, which uh, I think is one of my favorite blends from her or something similar to this. I think it's Marshmallow Zucchini Noel is probably my favorite, but this is pretty darn close. These are paraffin, so I decided to get a bag in that. And then I have this bag, which is half empty, and then I have another bag of Sugar Cookie Dough Bread. This is probably one of my favorite scents of hers, so when I saw it pop up on the site when I was ordering a lot from Front Porch, I went ahead and decided to get it. So, Okay, so I just have a few more here. I, can't, I don't know how I acquired so much Front Porch. Okay, Pink Chiffon Powder and Sea Salt. Let me see how the Pink Chiffon is in this. Oh yeah, this this one's a lot more dominant on the pink chiffon. Hmm. I'll have to see if that sea salt comes out because I can kind of smell it in there. I do smell, uh, I think what I was smelling too is some of the baby powder or powder something. So I'm gonna put that there, try to keep this a little bit neater. I have lemon bread. I do like her lemon scent. Ooh, that reminds me a lot of lemon marshmallow, but with kind of like a more bread component. But it smells very similar to lemon marshmallow, which is weird. So maybe this is more of like a sweet bread. I don't know. Oh, these are her... I don't know if she still does these or not. Loaves, like I said, I have not ordered from Front Porch in a while. Lavender sugar cookie dough bread. I like lavender and obviously I like sugar cookie dough bread. So... Oh, that one's nice. Okay, yeah, that one's really nice. I like that. See, I'm rediscovering front porch. I have not gotten in my front porch bins in a long time. Country berry hotcakes. I think I warmed banana berry hotcakes and I did not like it. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to like this one either. Ooh. I might have to mix it with something. I think somebody was raving about how much they liked the scent, so I was like, oh, I trust this person because I've gotten things from them before, but I mean, it just goes to show how different our noses are. Brown fig sea salt sugar. This one should be a good fresh scent. Oh, I like that. That's kind of a more complex scent, you know? It's not like, you know, I don't know. It's just not a simple, like blackberry jam butter cookie, you know? So here we have Mama's Blueberry Cobbler, Black Cherry Bomb, Cotton Candy Bread. Now, I don't like Black Cherry and her blueberries sometimes. It was weird to me, but I think this one... Oh, no. Yes, this is one that has... Her blueberry has a Play-Doh undertone. Oh, yeah. And I, I can smell that cherry in there. Man... I don't know, I wish that cotton candy bread would come out. That's probably why I got it, was because I wanted to try her. The cotton candy bread probably got me, and I thought maybe the blueberry cobbler would be something a little bit different than her blueberry, but mm, I don't think so. Aloha Vanilla, which is paraffin butterflies. You can't see it because it's white wax, but... Okay, this is kind of a clean, fresh scent. Coconut, I mean, not coconut vanilla, Aloha vanilla. I was thinking when I was smelling it that maybe it had coconut in it, but um, I don't know if I could detect any or not. So again, with the triple layered macaroons, sugar cookie dough bread, 
Amish friendship bread, ice cream scoop bread. Love my breads again. Okay, that one's good. I like that. Now, one thing as I'm going through these is I can tell I did a better job of picking out scents that I do like because there's only been a few so far that I'm kind of like, I don't know. Okay, uh, Sweet Dreams is another paraffin butterfly blend. And Sweet Dreams, I don't think I had ever had it before. This smells pretty. I'm not really sure what's in Sweet Dreams. But when I do my warm review, I will go look up scent descri descriptions and let you know. Uh, raspberry filled bread. I'm not really sure if I'm a big fan of raspberry. This one doesn't smell bad though. I don't hate it. That's a bonus. I have, oh, they, I don't, geez, these are really old. These are her iced cookies. I don't know if you can see them. They're pretty big. Um, this is banana cream cookies and cinnamon graham crackers. I really wanted to try this because of the graham cracker components. Let me just pull this out so you can kind of see the size of it. I mean, that thing's pretty big. And this is really pretty. You really can't smell that graham cracker scent. It's got a little bit of a spice to it, like the cinnamon. But the cinnamon is not, like I would say the cinnamon scale, it'd probably be like a three. You mostly get the banana and the graham crackers. That one might be really nice. My daughter might really enjoy that. Okay, a few more. Uh, let's see, we have Slumberland. It's Bedtime Kids, Cactus, and Sea Salt in the triple layers. And these are really pretty blue color. Okay, I'm not hating that. That one just smells like a fresh spa scent, so I really like the blue color she did on that one. That one's really pretty. Should take them out, but that would take forever. Um, sugary orange sherbet, pink cotton candy, Satsuma orange soda pop cookies. Okay, that is, well, obviously, if you look at the scent description, there's a lot of orange going on in here. I'm not loving orange that much anymore, so I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about that. We'll see. Okay. And I think what I have left is, let's see, I must have gotten two of these because I think I read that one off already. This one. Those are macaroons. And then I just have some singles. I have lemon bliss wildberry bread. Like I said, I really like her lemon. Some blackberry jam bread. I love blackberry jam scents as well. Then I have a couple more singles here. Um, wildberry mousse bread. Blackberry jam bread again. Oh, I got two wild berry mousse breads. I'll just stick that there. Uh, pink mallow bread, which I think is a good one from her. Oh, I got two lemon bliss wild berry breads. Like I said, I don't like to order singles from her, so I think when I did, I probably ordered two. So, okay, let me see if I can back this up a little bit here. I don't know if that's working. I don't know if we're straight or not. Whoops. Okay, so obviously I have quite a bit of front porch to get through. I I'm, I'm, know I'm not going to get through all of this, especially with doing the three of different vendors. But I do hope to come back with a more thorough review. And so I'm just going to try to find maybe my older stuff. I honestly don't even know what is my older stuff anymore. I think there's a few in here that kind of are losing their scent, I feel like. There was a few that I smelled and I was like, I don't really smell anything. They may just be lighter scents. Again, also her scoopables, I'm gonna check those out and maybe email her and see if she changed the formula at all because I still get, I think I said probably in a lot of my videos when I first hauled her original scoopables, the softer wax ones, not the ones in the mason jars but that they had like I could smell like a Krispy Kreme donut scent to all of them like no matter what scent it was so now this one back here is Linen Extreme and that's the only one that I don't 
get a super strong Krispy Kreme donut smell because it's a linen scent and it's super strong. So the linen is taking it over, but I still get that undertone. So thank you guys for watching and I will be back with a, actually I have one warm review that I need to do from a vendor I did that I warmed through before. Uh, like I said, now I'm taking better notes. So anyways, okay, I'll be back and I hope you guys are having a good day. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.